A new stadium, all part of a multi-billion dollar redevelopment plan in St. Pete. This is six months after the team and city leaders there announcing Rays are uh, here to stay. It's in Tampa Bay's Aaron Parsegian as a look at the latest talks. The Rays have said this deal is based on shovels getting in the ground by the end of this year. But there's a lot of discussion and voting left to happen over 600 plus million dollars in public funding for the project. 312 of that is supposed to come from Pinellas County using funds from the so-called bed or tourist tax. The board could very well be the first to take action on the plan. So I asked all seven county commissioners if that vote happened today, where would they stand? Five of them giving similar responses, staying in the dugout for now, saying they look forward to digging into the proposed terms once more details come to light. Vice Chair Brian Scott telling me his vote will depend on how willing the Rays are to negotiate. Meantime, at least two seem ready to round the bases. Chair Kathleen Peters says if it's the same as the terms publicly announced, she would support it. And Commissioner Janet Long telling me this outside the game. I absolutely would support the funding because, number one, this is the largest economic driver for our entire region that we've ever had in Tampa Bay. The other hurdle is City Council, which is a little more involved, and they've already been hearing some concerns from the public over the spending. Mayor Ken Welch still saying he's confident the deal will ultimately come together. I'm very confident that it will happen. Council has to do their due diligence, and we're working now to get that set of agreements to them. These discussions expected to ramp up at workshop sessions in the city and county levels next week. We'll keep you posted in real time as things develop. In studio, Aaron Porcegian, 10 Tampa Bay. We